Hello, my name is Melody Swartz. I'm a bioengineer at the University of Chicago and I work in the field of immunoengineering. Hi, my name is uh, Jeff Hubble. I'm a professor at the University of Chicago in the same school as Melody, the uh, Pritzker School of Molecular Engineering. I also work in the field of immunoengineering. I was in college a junior um, when the Berlin Wall fell. When the Berlin Wall fell, I was a, an assistant professor at the University of Chicago, getting my laboratory in the field of biomaterials science going. When I was a child, I wanted to be a scientist. Which walls does our research break? Well, I would say the technological barriers to immunotherapy, from cancer immunotherapy to vaccine design to autoimmune disease. There are great concepts out there, but we often lack the critical details to make them work. So immunoengineering draws on engineering design principles to offer solutions to either improve or make feasible these new concepts. One essential finding from our collaborative research is in the field of vaccine technology. We're working on vaccines based on nanoscience that may be more useful in patients that are not responding very well to some other vaccine technologies, such as the elderly. We use nanotechnology, nanomaterials from my laboratory, uh, and then animal models and immunology from Melody Swartz Laboratory to explore the concept of delivering a vaccine to the lymph nodes from, an, from a subcutaneous or intramuscular injection. These materials are so small that they slip into the lymph nodes where they're recognized by antigen presenting cells based on targeting groups that we put on the nanoparticles. This makes the presentation by antigen presenting cells in the lymph nodes highly effective and induces more potent immune responses than some of the benchmark materials that are being used in clinic right now. A second essential finding from the collaborative work between my lab and Melody's lab is in the field of cancer immunotherapy. Here we're trying to induce immune responses to tumors that a patient may have rather than an infectious disease that a patient may get. So in order to make immune responses more potent, we've engineered novel molecules with targeting groups to bind into tumors to turn on immune responses. These molecules are cytokines. We make these novel forms of cytokines such that they're retained in the tumors for a long period of time to turn on more potent immunity than they would otherwise induce. In animal models, we've been able to induce curative responses in majorities of animals using these approaches. We hope to translate this to clinic to develop a novel therapy for cancer immuno. Well, um, in immunotherapy, being more accessible, being more uh, useful, working better, and having less side effects in a variety of diseases. There are a number of unanswered questions in our work. We combine materials chemistry, protein engineering, and immunological hypotheses to explore science in medicine. When we get things right, uh, the molecules that we make are useful for testing hypotheses in complex animal models of immunological disease. When we get things extra right, those molecules might actually turn into therapeutics. So we always have open questions about whether the designs of the molecule or right even for answering hypotheses, much less right for being useful as a therapeutic. 